Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we have a great one for you today where we're going to be covering the market structure inside of the Bitcoin chart and moving on to some very important support and resistance levels uh, that I am trading off of this morning. And we have a beautiful chart. We really do. Very well respected, the technical analysis on this. That is why you are here. And let's just get straight into it. On a October morning, the 1st of October, a great monthly open. And what a start to the day it has been. What a start to the month it has been. So let's go into the charts here. As you all know, we have been building up our low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. As you know, if you cast yourself, if you cast your memory back a few days, you know, this is the channel that we were obviously looking at. If I just build this onto the chart for you once again with this lower trend line, you will know we come with our third touch of the lower channel, as well as being a bullish swing failure pattern. Okay, from the third touch of the channel and the bullish swing failure pattern, we now see ourselves back up once more at this very key weekly level, $10,915. As you can see, if we drop down to the 15 minute chart here, you will be able to see that we have got the original push into the level with a big rejection. And then we have now locally flipped resistance, resistance back into support. OK, and if you look at this on the one minute chart, you will see a very big rejection off of the weekly coming back down into your SR flip or an attempt again at the weekly another rejection and as we work our way back up here for an ascending time ascending triangle type idea with the higher lows onto this flat level of resistance so you know once again we have correctly traded this idea with the channel support moving up to the weekly resistance so this is obviously giving you your first very key resistance level being the weekly Okay, this is still your weekly resistance in play. And as, as we all know, looking back in the chart, this has been obviously in the in the past also a very key SR level. So it's no surprise that it's still acting as your key resistance. We flip this, which means changing resistance into support. So if we claim the weekly, then we can be looking onto levels such as the 11,000, 11,200. But to really start to look at the higher levels, you need to get above an acceptance above that first weekly. Obviously below you, as you saw what we bounced off just, uh, you know, uh, an hour or so ago, 10,850 has now locally flipped into support. Below that, you have the also key support that I've been going on. <laughs> I've been banging on about that level for a few weeks, 10,650. Then obviously below you, the middle of that channel, which is coming in at 10,540. So some very key support and resistance levels that I've shared with you here as well as your upward sloping channel, as well as I want to actually talk you through how yesterday I managed to obviously from that short position, close the short at the very low of the move and then recognize the strength from that, closing the short and then later on entering a long position. I'd like to talk you through that. And for the people that say we are not charitable, this was obviously shared for free in the spectators section. So uh, if you want to join in the free spectators section, over on Discord, I'll leave that in the comments below so you can you can get some charitable work from ourselves. So this is what customer service shared yesterday after somebody basically asked, what do you what do you get in the champions group? <laughs> and another perfect example. Uh, this was from uh, yesterday about 1130 when I closed the short position. So I recognized basically that we had come down to the lows. This was based off of a CCV setup originally anyway to get that short. We come down to the low of the CCV setup, which again is an 80% probabilities uh, of playing out. So we got that trading out again, really perfect. And then it was recognizing from the setup playing out the original strength that we were getting off that move. So again, it's it's not getting greedy. It's fully closing out of the short positions. Okay. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. From there, we obviously got our original bounce and then a retest of the level. And if you look at this, this is what we call bullish CVD divergences. So price makes a higher low, but the CVD indicator is making a lower low. So then this is showing to us absorption on what is already recognized as a very key support level. So you can start to see here how then we are recognizing, OK, that is now giving us a long setup. So as posted in my group uh, a little bit later on, obviously fully, fully closing the short position, not getting greedy and recognizing that we're getting some strength. So I was saying, you know, we had those bullish CVD divergences. We're holding important support levels and the invalidation is very clear. It gives a really good long position. And obviously the invalidation means like stop loss. So where are we placing the stop loss on this idea? Or obviously the stop losses with our market structure change below 10,660. And if you look at this, it really was perfect. So 
I've obviously said here, this, the stop loss can be placed 10,660, this low. As you can see from there, we got our bounce. We got a retest of the level. And then we have moved all the way up to weekly. So the stop loss never hit and the target hit. So you can start to see here how, and this, this drop, by the way, happened uh, 11 o'clock. So literally anybody in the spectators that was aware that we had literally posted this at about four o'clock can get in on this. And <laughs> a message from a champion that I won't repeat, uh, but there you go. We're, we're, we're <laughs> I actually, I could do this cool. We are amazing. <laughs> had to. Um, and we are, we are, because look at that, absolute perfection when it comes to technical analysis. Once again, coming up to that weekly, and now we can start to use some more, again, informed decisions. As we can see, if we zoom out a little bit, what we have going on today, you can see the support being built up off of this, okay, support, 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 support onto our flat resistance currently with the lower high. So again, we're building up higher low, higher low, higher low with the now lower high, lower high. So again, we can expect either ascending or symmetrical triangle to play out here. That's that's what I would be looking at locally. Okay, we're, we're talking five, five minute time frames. Um, and I think, yeah, what, what, what I want to, well, I've, I've taught you through my technicals in terms of how I managed to trade that yesterday also well. Um, how I am looking at this now, in, in my opinion, a symmetrical triangle. If you really break down from this, or the ascending, if you break down from this, well, then you obviously got your 8550. Then really, you do have the secondary 10, 7, 10, 750, which was based off of yesterday. You have that little bit of an SR. Uh, you got a little bit of volume. So 10,750 is still a level. So it's basically you got $100 increments because they are, for some reason, bouncing off those 50s. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 850, 10,750, 10,650, 10,550. Literally, uh, all the supports are, are built off of the $50 increments. That's funny. Don't always happen like that, but that's what you have at the moment. And obviously above you, you have that, that, that key weekly. You get above this, you got 11,000, 11,250 really. Um, so, you know, there's there's the key levels I got for you. And I think what's more impressive for, for me anyways, and, and I know people don't really like me anymore sharing my sharing my profits, but what I can do is share champions' profits. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a fair come down, isn't it? So people that are learning the theory that I'm teaching and then executing. And you can see a lot of people getting in again, basically low of the day yesterday, very close to low of the day. Um, you know, great entries. This one's a bit, a bit higher, but again, closing out near the exact high. Um, so you can see here that the theory that we're teaching, people are being able to execute this, make good trades and make money. That's, that's the aim of the game. That's why we're here. And, you know, I was speaking to a few people, obviously myself, I've actually become more of a swing trader now. So, um, you know, I, I am really content with taking one trade a day. Okay. If, even if this is one trade a week, I'm more than content with coming in on a Monday morning, taking my trade, leaving it till it comes to target. And if that don't hit till Friday, well, it won't hit till Friday. I get, I get from Monday to Friday with, uh, looking at other markets, obviously myself personally, I'm at my computer for 12, 16 hours a day because I have, you know, I, I absolutely love it. So for me, I will find other things to do. But from the style of trading, um, you know, I think that fits a lot of people. And what's what's brilliant was like having a having a chat. And obviously, some people in the group now have become full time traders, and that's great. You know, they've learned what I want to teach, and they have fulfilling their dreams of becoming a full time trader. And that that for some people is the dream. You know, being able to work when and where you want, be your own boss, is great. But then at the same flip of the coin, we have some people that do not want a full time trade. They 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 enjoy their jobs, I suppose. They don't want the added pressure of full-time trading and they just want to make money on the side. They want to have a, a relaxed life where they can do the, you know, similar to this. You know, if you've recognized the support, you know, literally of the lows yesterday, that's switching from a, obviously we're originally long, short, back into a long at the very lows. This is one trade a day. So from the morning to the next day, if you can, you know, get in on that move, then you, you can have a relaxing life. You know, that's taking the trade in the morning, waking up the next morning to profits. So, you know, I recognize that not everyone wants to full-time trade. And I think that's the beauty of trading. You got you got a mixture of scalp traders who have taken 100 trades in here. You've got some day traders who have taken one or two trades. You've got a swing trader who's just taken one trade. And I think that's, that's the beauty that all these different styles, they all fit the same technical analysis. So I think that that, that is really what I wanted to say here. So, you know, it's it's the people that can come in and learn, take what I'm learning. And if they want to be a swing trader, they can be a swing trader. If they want to be a sculptor, they can be a sculptor because the theory is the same across everything, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And the same goes for another question that I received of, 
or I don't have enough money to swing trade. And that's absolutely incorrect. You can you can start with as little money as a as a as a scalp trader because at the end of the day, let me explain this. The the guy that swing traded the low to the high will have in theory made more or less the same amount of money from the scalp trader that's traded here to here. The swing trader's taken one trade. This Sculpt trader's taken 10 trades, let's say. But in in the end, obviously, the sculpt trader is going to have, you know, let's say 75% win rate. Then, you know, they're going to be coming out with more or less the same amount of money. So there is no excuses of why swing trading is, is not better. And I personally am enjoying it at the moment. I'm really liking it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I, that's what I wanted to uh, go over here for some people. And so I hope you've enjoyed today's analysis. I hope you've enjoyed me talking you through how I managed to recognize to close out my short fully and then switch that into a long position, basically based off of this, <laughs> this template. It's just so amazing. And then obviously that I've taught you through some key support levels to be aware of into the month and obviously the current key resistance. All I would say is, um, you know, the, the market strength is really good at the moment. EOS, Ethereum up. You're seeing a little bit of sideways more on XRP at the moment, but you are then seeing the ES up. You're seeing GC up. So you're seeing market strength around you. So this is obviously a positive for Bitcoin, which could see it reclaim that weekly and head to those higher levels. Uh, that's just something, you know, you got to be aware of. I uh, Personally, I'm trading, you know, I'm keeping a close eye on other markets. Let's just put it like that. And it, it's definitely, definitely helped me. Um, so yeah, I'll end again with a little bit of a promotion that if you if you struggle to recognize some of these signs, if you want a little bit of a helping hand, someone just to be, you know, if you want to refer to a trader that's that's very good at what he does, then you can come across and see Daniel's closed his short. Mm, that's something I could be aware of. Mm, Daniel's gone into a long. Mm, that's something I can be aware of. You know, I don't want to I don't want to hold your hand through the trades. I want to teach you so you can become, you know, a self-sufficient trader. But if you'd like that assistance, then obviously, well, that's a service we offer. And, you know, I think people absolutely love it. So it's it's brilliant and it's nice to share. So, um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the analysis and then an explanation of, you know, an expanse explanation. Um, and I will catch you in the next technical analysis. So I'm going to say it once again. Hope you have a brilliant month ahead. The technicals are very well respected. And once again, we are crushing the charts. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.